when you have that feeling, that deep gut feeling, that your partner or spouse is cheating on you, it can be overwhelming. It can make you want to throw up and see the world, your world, as a very dark place. Jack had that feeling. Seems like everywhere he looked, every time he turned around, there was something that would shout, yeah, I'm screwing around on you, so what are you gonna do about it? Tracy was definitely setting off a lot of red flags for Jack. She was constantly laughing and smiling while texting with someone. Always said it was just her mom. Her mom's not that funny. She would always have to stay late at the office. When Jack would call her there, her coworkers would say she left hours ago. Tracy would tell him that was just a joke they always played on each other. One night, at 11.30, she had to go get milk. Milk. She didn't come back till two in the morning. That must have been some cow to deal with, Jack said under his breath. He considered hiring a private investigator to tell him what he already knew. Why spend for that if you already know it? Tracy's birthday was a few months away, so Jack started to put his plan into motion. He wanted to gather up as much evidence as he could for the divorce to give to his attorney, and this would give him time to find a new place to live. As her birthday approached, Jack asked her what she would like for it. This year, she told him, she wanted him to get out of town with some of his friends because she had to work anyway. She wanted him to get away to enjoy her birthday. Jack certainly didn't want to disappoint her. So early that morning, the morning of her birthday, as he prepared to leave, he discovered a bottle of champagne and two glasses in their closet. Gee, couldn't imagine what that was for. Actually, of course he did. So he left and went to a nearby friend's house, telling Tracy he and his buddies would be gone until tomorrow. But that plan of his, the one he already had put into motion, was going like clockwork. He made calls from his friend's house to confirm everything. He called Tracy's mom and dad, her sisters, and some of her friends, and they were all set for things. Later that morning, Jack snuck quietly back into his house. Behind him were Tracy's mom, who was holding a birthday cake. Everyone else had birthday streamers and kazoos. When Jack got to the bedroom door with the family right behind him, he flung open the door and everyone yelled, surprise! Well, there was Tracy, but naked, in a rather interesting position with her equally but naked lover. For a few seconds, everyone froze, wide-eyed and open-mouthed. Then, mom dropped the cake and the real fun started. Tracy's dad started yelling. Her sister started shooing everyone away from the X-rated doorway and one of her friends actually blew that kazoo. A lone kazoo tailing off at the end sounds pretty defeating. And Jack played the victimized husband all the while. He cried and kept saying, no, no. It was quite a performance. Tracy's lover ran past them all, still pulling up his pants, and out the door he went. Tracy wept in embarrassment. Dad was still shouting and Mom had to sit down and take some Tylenol. Her sisters were cleaning the cake up off the floor and mumbling angry words to themselves. It was the absolute best birthday present Jack had ever given his wife. Please like, comment, and share. Join us and change lives. Pleased to have you around. Blessed we are to get connected with you.